Welcome everyone to this 10 minute overview of how to use Atlassian's Cloud Migration Assistant to assess your app usage to make your migration from on-premise to Atlassian Cloud smoother and easier. This tool is really just one of many tools and resources that we have available for you for our on-premise customers to facilitate a migration into the Atlassian Cloud. My name is Will Howard McKinney. I'm on a team here at Atlassian called the Product Advocates, and we are here as a steward for folks on their Atlassian journey. So whether you're brand new to Atlassian tools or looking to expand into more Atlassian tools to further streamline your work and your collaboration, we are here to help on a variety of topics, including migrating your Atlassian tools into the cloud. This video is for folks who are currently running Atlassian tools on premise, on their own infrastructure, their own hardware, and are looking to migrate into our cloud. Now there's a variety of reasons companies choose to migrate, including to save time and money and to increase productivity, as well as to offload tasks like security, compliance and reliability to Atlassian and not have to manage those in-house. But the opportunity for migration is even bigger and more impactful than that. Atlassian Cloud really is the future of teamwork. Companies who continue to manage their on-premise infrastructure aren't able to devote their full attention to their company's mission. The time, money, and resources needed to manage servers, uh, manage upgrades, security, and compliance, that all adds up very quickly. Uh, by making the move from server or data center into the cloud, you can offload manual maintenance tasks to dedicated teams at Atlassian and take back your time and energy to focus on what you do best, achieving the mission of your company and better serving your customers. And with cloud receiving the lion's share of Atlassian's research and development, you can enjoy a peace of mind knowing that your teams have access to the latest and greatest features and innovation that Atlassian has to offer. In fact, as of February 15th, 2022, you will no longer be able to upgrade or downgrade user tiers for your Atlassian server products and will only receive security bug fixes for critical vulnerabilities until the end of support for our server products in 2024. Now, these benefits are significant benefits, but they're only a handful of the full benefit package of running on the Elastian Cloud. Um, some other benefits include 99.9% .9 financially backed uptime of your products and zero downtime upgrades. Um, there's a whole host of other benefits as well, and you can visit Atlassian.com slash migration to get a better sense of all of the benefits of moving over to the cloud. We are going to look at the Confluence Migration Assistant in the video today, but the experience should be very similar for the Jira Migration Assistant as well. You will see some changes to the UI or other small changes as we continue to improve this resource for our customers to better enable your migration. But if you have any questions about this process or during this process, please reach out to us at the link below in the video description and we can get you the help that you need. Now we've built a ton of resources to help our on-premise customers migrate to the Atlassian Cloud. In fact, you can start your journey to cloud today with the Atlassian Migration Program. All current Atlassian customers get access to free migration tools like the Cloud Migration Assistant that we're demoing today, several tailored resources, and also support from Atlassian's various support teams, including customer advocates and Atlassian's Cloud Migration Managers. Now, to get started, please visit us at Atlassian.com slash migration. Now, initially, this might seem like a daunting task, but we have your back with loads of resources, assistance, and step-by-step -step processes to follow to ensure that your migration journey is smooth. And when it's complete, you'll realize tons of benefits from running the cloud, likely realizing some noticeable cost savings shortly after your migration is complete. We have broken the migration journey into six key phases, making it much less scary and much more attainable than you might think. And the app assessment that we're exploring today happens early on in this first phase, this assess phase. Now, the app assessment is more than just finding cloud versions of your on-premise apps. It definitely helps with that, but it's also a great time to assess your app usage overall and identify apps that might be unused or underused, or identify duplicate apps that independent teams may be using that you can consolidate in your cloud instance, which this tool will also help you understand. So to start, let's go ahead and get into Confluence and see how this all works. So here we are in an instance of Confluence. And to navigate to the Migration Assistant, we just need to visit Confluence Administration up here and then click on General Configuration. We're gonna scroll down and look on the left and you should see it right here. Now, if you don't see the Migration Assistant here, it's easy and free to install from the Marketplace, but most of you should have this pre-installed in your instance of Confluence and Jira already. But if not, go up here to the Marketplace and you should be able to find it very easily. But let's go ahead and click into the Migration Assistant. Now we're going to explore all three of these steps, uh, starting with assess your apps right here. And you can see also that within the app itself are several resources to get you started and see you through this process. But let's click into assess your apps and check this out. 
So right away, we see a list of our apps that we're using in Confluence, as well as several options and some information about them. Now here, we see a clear way to indicate your intention for these apps. You can mark them as needed, not needed, if we're going to use an alternative, or if we just haven't made a decision yet. Now to help you make those decisions, you also get some helpful information about each app in these remaining columns. For example, we can see if there is a cloud version of this specific app already, and a link to any available vendor documentation that breaks down the differences and feature parity between their server and their cloud versions. Now for Confluence specifically, if the app appears in a Confluence macro, it will tell us how many pages are using the app, and we'll also see how many users have engaged with the app. Both of these pieces of information can give you some really good insight into whether or not you want to port these over into cloud. Now, for many apps, you'll also see information about whether the app and its data can be migrated and what type of migration path exists. Now, you may see a few different designations here that I want to make sure everybody understands. So some apps have automated paths, which means you can migrate the app to cloud using the automated path that the marketplace vendor has built with the cloud migration assistant that we're looking at right now. Some apps with an automated path will indicate whether they're stage one or stage two, like we see here, which refers to the demonstrated migration success rate. These aren't to say that you won't be able to use certain automated paths, but they're a way to understand uh, reliability and how to get support if you need it. So effectively, apps in stage one have an unknown or have demonstrated a low migration success rate. Um, if you choose to migrate stage one apps and the app migration data fails, you will need to contact the respective marketplace partner for support. Apps in stage two, like this one here, have a uh, high demonstrated migration success rate. Now, some apps have a gray check mark and a link to a view path in this column. The gray check indicates that you can migrate this app to cloud using a migration path developed by the marketplace vendor um, and not using the Confluence Cloud Migration Assistant. So clicking on the view path link takes you to the marketplace partner's migration instructions. Now, some apps will have a link to contact vendor. Uh, this indicates that although the app has an equivalent app in the cloud, the marketplace vendor probably has not yet built a migration path for that app. Now the red cross indicates that a cloud version of the app does not exist. And this means that you cannot migrate your app data into the cloud for this app until the marketplace vendor builds a cloud app uh, and a corresponding migration path. And then here you can add any notes that may be relevant as you continue through this process to reference as you complete this step. Okay, so at this point we have a list of all of our apps and now we're going to want to determine if and how your teams are using these apps and how critical they are for your cloud instance. We have some helpful info for you here, such as the macro counter and the viewed by statistic, but you'll want to leverage other methods to fully understand your organization's app usage. We have some suggestions available on Atlassian.com slash migration, but you could also potentially leverage a licensed Atlassian partner for this, especially if you're using 10 or more marketplace apps. We found leveraging a partner along with our cloud migration managers to be very effective. But you'll want to pause here and gather that data before proceeding. But let's say we've done that analysis and we are ready to proceed. So from our analysis, from our internal surveys, from our partners' efforts, whatever means we've decided to leverage, we've decided that we definitely need Comula document control. Uh, we don't need this one, which helps us manage corrupted attachment data. We do want to keep Gliffy, and for handy macros, we'll keep this one as well. And now that we've completed our assessment, we're taken back to the menu here where we can proceed to the next step. Now during this phase, we're going to indicate which cloud instance we want to connect to, and you can create a brand new one here as well. I do want to call out this extended cloud trial license, however, as this is a great option for folks that are migrating to the cloud. To further facilitate your migration, we are offering all of our on-premise customers a cloud instance that will remain free for the duration of your current on-premise maintenance period. Now, a few important things to call out here. You will get at least 60 days, regardless of how much time is left on your current server maintenance period. And this also means that you can be strategic about when to claim your extended cloud trial license. Maybe you want to wait until after your next maintenance payment, giving you a full year to have this free cloud trial license to use for your migration. And lastly, even if you are not under an active maintenance, you will still be able to claim an extended cloud trial license for 60 days. So we'll simply click through here and we should see all the apps that we indicated that we want to bring over to cloud. And if I click install app on one of these, it should take us directly to our target cloud instance, right into the marketplace entry for this app, where I can install it with just a click. 
Now we would simply return to our on-premise instance and repeat that process for the rest of our apps. And we should now have a cloud instance with all the apps we need ready to receive any migration data. Now, the focus of this video is on assessing your apps. But once you're ready to migrate your apps and your app data, here is how that should unfold. Now, this all happens, let me just uh, tab back over to our on-premise instance. This all happens here in step three. So when you're ready to move data over for apps with an automated path, those apps listed as stage one and stage two, uh, app data will be migrated at the same time that user, space, project data are migrated using the JIRA or the Confluence Cloud Migration Assistance. For apps with a manual path, or that gray check mark that we saw on the assessment form, you'll need to install the app on your cloud instance and then follow the vendor's specific instructions on how to migrate that app data. So hopefully this short overview has given you some insight into how to use this tool, as well as highlight the many resources we have available for our on-premise customers as you seek to reap the long-term benefits of running your Atlassian tools in the cloud. We believe in our cloud products and in our cloud infrastructure. Our primary mission is to unleash the potential of every team and reducing the time and money you spend on keeping your tools up and running should be of great benefit to the health and productivity of your entire organization. And so with that, Happy migrating, everyone. I hope you found this helpful, and please let us know if you have any questions by reaching out to us using the link below in the video description.